Welcome to the channel everybody. My name is Ryan and we are playing Unreal World today and we are here at the site of our blacksmith. This is the only one we've discovered here right now so if we take a look at the map I'll have to scroll out. There we go. So we can see the cultural region here in yellow. That's our current location. We have discovered a blacksmith. We know of one now, a master blacksmith. I've got a marker for it. You can see I've got a couple markers. My shelter's nearby, but we've got the master blacksmith. He makes swords, helmets, and several other things too, but those those basically are the big ones. Like, that's hard to get, apparently. But uh, we got lucky, and they also have a sage here at the village. So our goal, because we are a member of the Owl Tribe, is to travel the different regions, cultural regions, and discover the blacksmiths to figure out what they have for sale and to mark it on our map. Because the elders of our tribe, who are up here, the white, the white uh, owl tribe, they'd like to know this new technology, blacksmithing. So that's our goal here. And uh, we've had a pretty successful hunt so far. We have killed two deer. Uh, they were, yeah, there they are. You can see the furs for both of them. My guy, one of the best skills he has is hide working. So I was able to actually produce a fine forest fur which is good. Now, the more important thing is the shoes we're wearing here, the footwear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So these in particular are intriguing and interesting because this is what the blacksmith wanted. So we just came in here and made a request. If you go to greet, yeah, it'll say, this is where the screen will ask you if you want to order something from the blacksmith. And I ordered some masterwork broadhead arrowheads coming. And I just did, so I'm not going to ask him. They literally will take a half a week, I think, is what he said. Well, let's go ahead and ask, actually. Let's find out. What does he say? I'll be ready in half a week. Yeah, there you go. So that's good. Now, when you go to your map, too, I'll point this out one more time here. There, It's hard to see because I've got uh, different markers all over it and stuff. But there is a white circle here. Corresponds with the legend over here, this little white donut. It looks like a little powdered sugar donut. It is letting me know that I have ordered broadhead arrows today. So I won't tell you when they're done, but it just tells you, you know, when you ordered them. So you have to remember, oh, this order takes a half a week. I need to go back in three days or whatever. All right, so we'll move this. Let's get, uh, let's get on with it. So the goal right now, I guess, is we're going to kill a little bit of time while we wait for our arrows. You can see I'm down to six arrows total. That's why we've ordered them. Now, here's the deal. It's a whole process now to make arrows. Well, it was before, but he's updated it. So I'm going to need to make the arrow shaft. Let's see, one of those. We need the arrow shaft blank. I think we make these from boards, I'm pretty sure. So if I go, what would it be, lumber? Wood slat, there it is. So a narrow... Flat piece of board split, or flat piece of wood split from a board. I believe we make some of these, and then we can start with the arrow shafts. So that's something I should probably do to prepare, because you know we're going to want to get some arrows made as soon as we get the arrow heads. Now food is an issue though. So in terms of what I've got on me right now, we've got seven, eight, nine, ten pieces of roasted meat, and that's it. So yeah, that's that means we're pretty tight. I can't spend a whole lot of time just wandering. You know what, actually, maybe I should pick up some food from these people. We do have some furs to trade with, so let's see. I haven't looked at much of their stuff. Links fur. I might grab that boat at some point. The fishing rods, eh. I like nets. Nets are the way to go. Oh, there's 19 dried bear cuts. That's pretty huge. Masterwork carving axe. I want to I want to grab whoops I want to grab the meat okay I'll take I'll oof. no I won't take the roasted piece um let's see here okay do I want that carving axe not really not yet we're not really builders we're not trying to build stuff at the moment I've already got some yarn so I'm good on that let's keep looking around I feel like they have some male mittens somewhere. I think they're in this building. There they are. All right, let me grab those. I would like these. Okay, badger furs. Oh, there's some more food. 
It's not much. It's only a pound of food, but I'm going to grab all the food that I can find. There's four roaches. That's that's a type of fish. Um, and I'm not going to worry about the wavy roots. Those are probably turnips. Let's see here. Three smoked roaches. That's like no, that's so little food right there. Okay, so let's keep looking. I want to, again, buy all the food that I can get, except for the turnips. Those aren't really worth worth it in my opinion like in this game you're you're a carnivore imagine that you are a carnivore you can kind of supplement your diet a little bit with like berries and roots and things of that nature but you need to eat meat you will starve if you don't eat enough meat and i mean that's true in real life too you need fat you know you can get by eating different kinds of plants to provide you with adequate fat content but it's not as easy as just having a big old juicy steak well, nothing in there. So let me do a little trading here. All right, so we've got a decent amount of stuff with those male mittens on us. I, I don't know. Let's see. We're definitely not trading our shoes away because that's what the blacksmith asked for. <laughs> I need to make another pair. All right, so what I want to do is trade him this. How much? Two-thirds. Nice. That's actually really, really good to hear. Okay. Um... Let me see. I'm tempted to almost get rid of some of the food, but no. Damn it. Le okay, let me trade him this. Oh, a few more things. Damn. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Hmm. Let me think about this. Okay, well, I've decided against that trade for now. And the reason is I don't need the male mittens right away. It's not like I plan on getting into combat. It's more just like something I want. But um, so I'm going to hold off on buying those. I've dropped it all on the ground so I don't have any of their trade goods on me. And I've decided I need to go ahead and get this these cords made. Oh, I need to drink something. Yeah, that's another thing. I need to get a, like a wooden bowl or a, what would be better is a tub. Those hold a lot of water. But I'm tired of having to run over here every time. Again, that's not another like a total necessity at this point. So I'm just trying to hold off on being too wasteful. But... You know, we've got food now. And again, as I've pointed out in previous episodes, I've had characters starve for weeks without food, you know, and they'll survive it. It's not good. You know, it hurts their performance, but they can survive as long as you get food in the end. So I'm not going to give away all my furs just yet, especially when we're not like totally fully outfitted. So let's see here. Let's go ahead and continue our cordage. Can I get five more? Yeah, that's going to almost wipe out this particular fur, but that's okay. I'm willing to do it. Okay, there we go. Almost done. Boom. Yeah, it's not the best. I should be doing this at my little campsite, but it's okay. We came here just to place that order, so I'm here. We're doing it. Now, he is getting tired. I tell you what, let's go ahead and head back home. We don't have much else to do here except just wait for our order, so... I'm going to grab a couple more of these large stones, actually, before I leave this area. Let's grab these. These will be good for some traps. I need to be setting up some deadfall traps for sure. This is plentiful out here, man. It's almost as good as being, like, on the top of a mountain. Dang. Okay, we have made it back to our shelter. I'm going to drop the stones I've got. We'll worry about setting those up in a little while. Um... I'll keep the branches. I like to have some of those on me. I'm going to zoom out to take a look over there. Okay. You can see there's no no bird in my trap yet. That's sad, but no worries. We are next to this little body of water, which is pretty cool. It's hard to see it because it's all covered up with uh, the cultural territory. But I don't know. I might think about some deadfall traps just along the coast over here. I don't know what lives out here, but sometimes you get lucky and you get beavers or seals or even swans. There's some fairly exotic animals you can find on coastlines. Now, this is just a big lake, so it's not going to be like the ocean. We might not see any seals, in other words, but again, you can see some cool stuff. Um, and we can also potentially trap it and kill it and eat it. So let me grab some more raw materials. I don't know if I can even pick these up. Nope, too, can't, too heavy. Can't get them. Too much for I'm so not used to having such a weak character. Oops, I just picked it up again. It's funny. He can't carry more than nine stones at a time. I'm used to being able to carry like 16. <laughs> Okay, it is a new day, a new morning. I have set a couple traps last night, so let's zoom out and see if those are have caught anything. 
Nope, doesn't look like it. Not a big deal, though. Um, I didn't expect I have seen a couple birds around here, though. But um, we've got one of the traps is baited. It's actually next to some bird tracks. But we'll get them. We'll have some success. Really, it's not so much for the meat, because birds are very small, but um, the feathers. We're going to need those for crafting arrows at some point. I assume, at least, that's how it used to be one of the ingredients. I assume it still is. So we've got a bunch of cordage here. I'm going to drop this, because it's a lot of weight we don't need to carry with us. But um, I'll go ahead and drop the yarn, too, since we have a little camp here. Now, this stuff, let me see. I think I want to make some extra shoes, as funny as that is. Oh, I guess I should keep my yarn. Then. Yeah. All right, let's make an extra pair, because we're going to have to give ours to the blacksmith for footwear. That's what he wanted, shockingly enough. That was it, too. But, hey, I'm happy with that. Let him have it. So, we're going to have to dip into our fine forest reindeer fur. But that's really not uncommon that the first couple furs you actually kill and, you know, make yourself. You have to cut them up and use them for clothing or something. Uh, that happens a lot. All right. No, I see the bird. More bra black grouses. Dang, I should have put my traps to the south. Oh, well. Uh, let's take a nice little drink. At some point, I am going to make a bowl. I should probably do it, but I want to get some more. E either do another big hunt, which is possible, or go out and set some traps. Um, I kind of want to just hunt right now. Let's see. Let's look at my inventory. How are we doing here? Okay, I've got the extra footwear here. I'm not going to wear it. That's just we're going to hold off. Keep it with us, though. All right, I'm going to drop the rest of this. I guess I can just drop the footwear here for now. All right, there's that. That, and I'll drop the branches. God, those weigh six pounds. All right, good. Trying to slim down as much as possible so we can go out hunting. Good. Now, let's go ahead and have a little bite to eat. Stop. Yep, just eat about half of that. Oh, no, it didn't eat half of it. I thought I could stop it. There. There. Okay, I've got a piece forest reindeer cut that's like 0.6, so I'm going to bait this trap right here. I don't want to put a full cut in there. It's kind of wasteful. It's kind of wasteful to bait either of those traps. I probably shouldn't, but uh, anyway, let's get out here and uh, let's do some hunting. Now, uh, obviously, I'm looking for the flat territory. I don't like to try and hunt in forested areas. It's very, very difficult, but... There is some flat regions up here. This is good. I was worried there wouldn't be. We wouldn't get lucky. We'd be surrounded by like forests, but there's a little bit. It's nothing grand or anything. It's not like the happy hunting grounds of our dreams, but it's decent. All right. We did get real lucky with that reindeer. Maybe we should head back to that location, actually. Let's check that out. God, I'm already tired. All right, so this is where we encountered the deer, got super lucky, like on our first or second day. Uh, let's try it again. I need to rest a bit, though. All right, that's better. Let's see, just looking. We got real lucky the second time we came back here. Let's look at these tracks. They're old. Um, yeah, the, the reindeer had remained and we're still here they were literally like right on top of us let's look at some of these tracks a few days old yeah these are all old tracks what is this track looks like a bird maybe a rabbit a grouse okay i should be picking up these feathers too i know that we'll probably catch a bird or two as we go but it's good to have them well 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 check that out persistence pays off i just was zooming around looking following tracks everywhere i didn't notice any fresh tracks i wasn't that thorough but i just got lucky and bumped into them so let's investigate them looks a little f fatigued already buddy that is not good news for you all right that is our modus operandus here we're gonna fatigue this guy out now he doesn't even see me yet so let's just creep oh yeah come on closer we're on the low ground. I want to get up on this little hill. Okay, he's seen me. So I'm going to go into sprint mode. 
because that is our forte. We are speedy. We are a speedy little character. If I hit Shift P real quick, you guys can see my physical profile down here. Speed is almost totally maxed out. Our agility is max. Speed is right there with it. So we're fast. Now <clears throat> this is gonna be tricky because all these dang tracks here are gonna make it very difficult for me. Hold on. There we go. I want to stop running. What the hell? All right. Where is he? Hold on, is this a fresh track? There he is. Okay, okay. Yeah, got to be real careful not to lose him. I'd love to chase him into some fresher areas where there's not so many tracks around. But it's really up to him where he goes. Okay, this is good. This is him right here. Yep, these are very fresh. Okay, this is... Ugh. See, the problem is there's tracks everywhere in this area. You can kind of tell. They are slightly darker, but... Don't get too bogged down. Oh, there's an arrow. Don't get too bogged down in the traps. Just keep your keep your eye on the horizon. And you should be able to follow him. Damn it, he's going to go right past my arrow. Damn it, I want that. Hold on, I'm going to do what I did last time. Okay, let's go to this. I'm going to say there's an arrow right there. Okay, I'll try and come back to this point. It's right next to the deer, but the deer marker that we have. Okay, uh, should I take a shot at him? Probably not. See, our total negative is 35. That's really high. That, that means like, even if I was like a master at the bow, I would still probably miss with this level. So I'm not going to try it. We're just going to keep pushing him. In fact, I'm going to start sprinting at him. Yeah, push him, push him, push him. Let me look at his fatigue level real quick. He's still only a little bit fatigued, so I don't want to overstress myself. We still got a long hunt. Goodbye, Arrow. I'll come back for you one day. I promise. All right, let's keep moving. Come on, baby. Where are you at? There he is. All right. He sees me. He clearly sees me. Oh, damn. There's another arrow right there. Oh, look at that. That's two. All right, let's, uh, yeah. Not push ourselves. We're almost at negative 50 endurance. That's that's not good. Or fatigue. Look, he's trying to sleep. Do you see that? Dude was catching catching a few wink a few Z's there. Damn you, rooster. I'm gonna take you out. I'm gonna take a shot at him. Look at this idiot. Let me get super close. Oh! I actually hit him. That's insane. Very mild hit. Didn't even puncture him, really. It just bounced off him. But he's still injured now. I don't want to sprint. I'm not going to sprint. You know what's worrying me? I think we're getting close to the forest edge, to the tree line. Dear God, if he runs into the trees, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and kill him still. But you get the picture. Be upset. Okay, which way is he going? I'm running south. There he is. Let me look at him. Always keep your eyes on the prize slightly fatigued damn this guy's got some endurance All right, slightly injured yeah buddy you know we're here All right, sprinting no hope of keeping up with him yet he's nowhere near torn uh worn out enough yet for that let's see here's his tracks come on there he is let me look at him i think he just take a took a poop literally there's poop underneath him Slightly fatigued still. Jeez Louise, come on, buddy. I gotta get you. You are my next meal. Chase, run. Alright, hide. Looks like I was here before. Broke some ice. Interesting. It's probably why those arrows are so close. Yeah, see, we're near, uh, we are super near the forest. Luckily, he turned away from it, though, so that's good. I think he did. God, I hope I'm following the right tracks. Where are you at, bro? Very fresh. Yeah, yeah, we're on the right track. Okay, there he is again. Uh, took me a while to find him, but let me look at him. Still only slightly fatigued. Dang. Well, I'm just going to keep the pressure on him. Okay, there we go. Now I've got him down to fatigued level. Very fatigued. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at this. His tracks. Look at this. Where are they headed? Ah, oh, dang it. I was hoping I could show you breathless, but he went into the dang trees. All right, hold on. This is where it gets real hard to track. Here you notice fresh letting northwest. 
Okay, I see his tracks. There he is. Well, I see his tracks again. I don't see him yet. See, the problem is you have to stop a lot and like look at the tracks. All right, leading east. Okay, there's that. There's a lot of turning, which give all this gives him the opportunity to get away. But he is so... Oh, look, we're close to the edge. Maybe he ran out. Following his tracks. There they are. Come on, baby. Yes. Oh, no, there's another forest right there. Oh, don't tell me. See, oh, look, he's running along the edge. He just went into it. He's teasing me. This son of a gun is playing with me. All right, where is he at? I don't see... I see more tracks, okay. Dang. I would. I wish I could zoom in so you guys could see these tracks a little bit easier, but can't do it. i got to stay fully zoomed out so I can uh, potentially spot him. It's getting, getting more and more hopeless here, though. I'll tell you what, if I can just get an eye on him, I would love to see his condition right now. Because if he is breathless, it's possible. We have a shot. We do have a shot. Look at this. What was he doing over here? Intentionally trying to throw me off his trail here? The hell? Oh, there they are. I see the tracks. Oh! Oh, I think I saw him. I think I saw him for a second. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, man. I swear, I think I saw him. Where's he at? Dang it, I don't see the tracks anymore. No. I hate backtracking. Even a couple steps is not good. All right. Leading north. Okay. Where? Oh, no. I've I've lost it. I've lost the tracks. They just disappeared. They stop right here. Leading north, it said. Right here. He must have turned and came back around in all these stampede tracks. Dang it, dang it, dang it. Uh, Alright, well, there is not totally without hope. So what I'm going to do is zoom out. Okay. I'm going to move a little bit on the main map. I'll come back right to the forest edge here and we'll zoom into this flat area. Just look behind me. Okay, let's move up to the forest. Going kind of slowly. All right, let's just let's just loop, move along the edge. This is definitely where we were. Yeah, there's his tracks. Sometimes he'll just come out, you know, if he thinks you're not there. But, oof. There's a lot of logs. Might be a good spot for some traps. Ugh, I'm not seeing them, though. Dang it, dang it. That was so promising. Such a good try, but can't get them all. That's for sure. Like I've said in the past, you've got to be able to know your limitations, too. And I think right now we need to sleep. So I'm going to say my little prayer, and hopefully we can sleep out here without too much detriment. We're fine, I think, temperature-wise. Yeah, we're fine. So it's late. It's hard to see, too, but um, let me zoom in real quick. Yeah, I can't see anything. I do need to get some water, though. So let's take a drink here from the ice. There we go. Yeah, I definitely need to craft a bowl up. That would make life so much easier for me. Okay, there we go. Um, hmm. What do we got on us? We slimmed everything down, didn't we? Yeah. Very, very low on food. So, I mean, we're at this point, not much choice. We have to continue to hunt, you know? Okay, well, I found my arrows, at least. That hunt was successful. So I can go in here, and I'm going to remove... No, I don't want to add one. It's, sometimes it's easier just to bring the mouse over. Hit A... Let's do the arrow one. We'll just delete that. There we go. I think I'll probably go ahead and delete the deer one too, because this is the last year. There were only three there originally. I know the location now by heart, basically. So let me zoom out. In fact, it's just this little flat patch. It's worth coming over here to check, but this boy might be long gone. This this little one. Of course, we might have other other game to chase around here at some point, but 
let's just I, sometimes i like to just return to the site of uh, a previous failed hunt and just kind of zoom around a little bit sometimes you get lucky you might just run into somebody oh that was a bird you got to be careful though because sometimes they do move fast if you're running fast that means they're moving fast so you got to watch that because they can zoom right past you but usually if it's a bigger game you'll see them all right that's that's pretty much it I think I think we can safely say that deer is probably gone. So let's rest and let's continue on the hunt. Now, let me look at the map. We're going to get to a point here shortly. It's starting to rain, too, instead of snow, that we are not going to be able to walk on this ice. So I don't want to cut myself off from anywhere that I'll have to, like, wade across. But uh, I don't see any rivers or anything, just some medium-sized lakes. So we're good to explore a little bit, I think. This is great. Always find the little mountains if you can or hills so you can stand on them, get a nicer view of things. This is really cool. Oh yeah, this is an interesting region. You got mountains and stuff right next to the water. Probably be if you searched hard enough around here, you can probably find a really cool place to set up a base. Of course, we are in the cultural region or just about of uh, another civilization, but that doesn't really matter. I think you can construct little bases and stuff inside the regions no problem all right well we are ready to drop so i think oh we just slept a little bit let's get to our shelter call it quits for that hunt unsuccessful sad as it was but um down to our last couple cuts of meat i'm gonna let him be slightly hungry he's going to bed hungry here but we are gonna say our prayer before bed there we go oh he's waking up real hungry Hungry as a bear, he says. Oh, it did ice over. Yeah, our, our little water hole iced over there. That's interesting. Now, I'd love to grab another log. Um, really, I'm just thinking about making a bowl. A bowl. So I think I'm going to cut this log down right here, or this tree. Takes a while, but he's okay. There we go. All right, so we've got this. This will be something I'm going to chop up. I'm also going to need one for boards, too, to make those uh, arrows with. But let me zoom in. All right, so I'm going to go, sh let's see, chop a tree into blocks. Yeah, that's what I'm going to start with because I want a bowl first. So let's use this. Then I'll worry about boards afterwards. We're getting real hungry. Only a couple pieces of meat left. Let's see here. Did we catch any birds? We did. <gasps> Look over to the east. There's a bird there. He's downed. Let's grab him. Yay. Uh, it's not much meat, but we'll get something for it. All right. What is he? He's not dead yet. You can't melee with a, a bow. I should be able to just hit him with my bow shaft. <laughs> it's probably not smart. If your whole survival depends on a bow and arrow, you probably shouldn't use it as a melee weapon. So blunt to the head, blunt to the skull, and the bird should die. <laughs> oh, we're so bad at melee. Okay, there we go. We got it. Now I'm going to go and reset the trap because that was successful. That was the one that I, believe it or not, out of the three, this was the one that I did not put bait in. So just goes to show you. I think, in fact, I'm going to come up here. I'm hoping. Yeah, that's still good. Let's eat that. I'm going to eat these little cuts. Let's come over here. And I hope this one's still good. Let's grab it. This is what you do when you're starving. Um, I think it was this one. Well, we're not hungry right now, so we'll hold it. Okay, so we got ourselves a little birdie. Let's get that thing processed. Um, I'll hold off on making my bowl, because of course the animal comes first. So we're gonna drop it right next to the water, skin it, butcher it, wield an arrow real quick, otherwise I'll forget. And now we can start a little fire probably cook it up i didn't even wait how much meat does it have on it is it like just it's two pieces okay here's what i'm gonna do we're gonna sacrifice it it's not gonna make a difference in my life so we'll give it to the gods now let's do a little bit of cleaning on this skin right here there we go I'll take just a few moments because it's a very small piece of leather and now we will treat it with the fat there we go. That second piece of hazel grouse cut right there, I will also sacrifice it. Probably do it tomorrow. 
just hold it in my inventory I'm trying to get really good with the spirit world i want to do as many quests and get get in good with the sages and stuff we want to i want to fill out my ritual page basically i want to get a few more of these because you can get basically the green ones are like the active that you can sacrifice or do prayers these are more just instructional so like how do you you know deal with a bear spirit after you've killed a bear carrying teeth to provide you with actually you know it's just helpful hints basically so we'll learn both you know hopefully we'll get some more active and more passive rituals as time goes by but we've got a lot of work ahead of us still folks it is a hard slog to survive out here in the wilderness but thank you guys for tuning in hit that like and subscribe leave me some comments below and i will see you guys on the next episode